if there's one thing that I hate using, it's filler. Although I guess this time, at least I know it's uh, for cosmetic reasons and not structural. So as I wait for that filler to set, I think I'm going to get back underneath here and seam seal any panels that I haven't yet done. And for that I'm again using the Black Tiger seal. It's good stuff. So that's all seam sealed underneath this front section now. And I've just spent a lengthy amount of time drilling out some broken bolts that I had within these uh, captive nuts. Now these hold the front splash pan on up underneath this area and um, I've just done about four drill bits trying to drill this central one out uh, managed to put a rivet nut in now it's a six mil rivet nut with a new bolt and I've got a captive nut I'm probably just gonna grind away in this corner here and uh, insert another rivet nut up there There's a little bit of fettling now and a couple of fixings put up underneath here to deal with that corner, knock that back a bit. So it's been a bit of a funny old day today, just waiting for things to dry off really. I've still got the seam sealer going off now, I've uh, got the filler going off inside the cab. I'll get round to uh, straightening that pan up a little bit more, giving it a coat of pour 15. And I think the next time I'll probably degrease all this down again underneath the arches. And I've decided to go and use another pour 15 product and I'm going to do the inside of the arches with this bed liner. So I'll give it a nice waterproof resistant coat hopefully. So uh, next time, washing paint dry. <laughs>